When I look down at this golden statue, may it remind me and every little child that no matter where you're from, your dreams are valid. Thank you. An inspiring acceptance speech by Lupita Nyong'o, who picked up Best Supporting Actress honors for her role in 12 Years a Slave at Sunday's Academy Awards. Let's take a look at the other major awards. The Academy honored Kate Blanchett as Best Actress in Woody Allen's Blue Jasmine, and Matthew McConaughey won Best Actor for Dallas Buyers Club. Also, Alfonso Cuaron won Best Director honors for Gravity, and 12 Years a Slave took home Best Picture honors. With us to discuss the big winners and trends from the Oscars is Kevin Carr, critic for Fat Guys at the Movies. Kevin, thank you for being here. Thank you. So what, what, um, what surprised you, if anything, about these, uh, these awards this year? Well, the, the, the big six, that best picture, best Ed director and the actors, those tended to be relatively predictable. But what's interesting about it is you had the split between director and picture, which you had last year, but that was different because Ben Affleck wasn't nominated last year. But they were relatively predictable, but they were very well-deserved. And I think the surprises came in the lower categories, like maybe uh, with a documentary where the act of killing didn't win uh, and 20 Feet from Stardom did. Okay. Were you, were you surprised that Gravity uh, won all the, all the awards it did in any way? It got seven awards, which is a heck of a lot. Yeah, that's actually a huge amount to have and not win Best Picture. I think it's more surprising it didn't get Best Picture because it got so many of the awards. Of course, a lot of those awards were technical awards, visual effects, sound editing, and and uh, the, the 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 score. Those were actually uh, really good technical awards, but they were very well deserved. Um, and I think Gravity, Gravity is one of the big winners. And having Alphonse Cuaron get his Best uh, Director when it was also a really big surprise in some ways. And, and Kevin, uh, American Hustle, which was tremendously popular in, in spite of the 70s clothing, that was shut out, it seems. Yeah, that was kind of the one that didn't get anything. I actually was expecting it to at least win like a screenplay award, um, maybe not one of the actor awards. Uh, and, and that was a bit surprising because you do get uh, these other, the, the awards were spread around, especially between 12 Years a Slave and Gravity. You would have expected American Hustle to win maybe something. But yeah, it was kind of, it kind of went home uh, with its tail between its legs a little bit. Now, one of, one of the big things, if you are in the, uh, in the media, is to get the, the role of hosting the Oscars. And Ellen DeGeneres had that role uh, last night. What did you think of her? Did she, did, she, did she knock it out of the park? I think she did great. Uh, you know, every host has their own brand, and they bring their own brand of humor. She went back to her stand-up days with sort of that awkward stand-up delivery, which was different than the show tunes nature of like Billy Crystal or Hugh Jackman. But I thought she did a fantastic job making it very casual and very free and, 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 and sort of becoming, bringing kind of inviting the stars into your living room with taking pictures of them and that sort of thing. I mean, she brought pizza, she brought pizza for him. That, that's gotta be a good thing. Great, all that, all that way and you got a slice of pizza. Great stuff, big night for Hollywood. Thank you very much. Kevin Carr, critic for Fat Guys at the Movies. We appreciate your time, sir. Thank you.